Right, if you are losing distance with your driver in hand, struggling to generate club head speed, maybe slowing down a little, then this could be the perfect answer to your problems because in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you could potentially increase that club head speed and eventually drive that ball further down the fairway. Sounds good. So today's video comes from Eric Cagorno Golf, who quite honestly I'd not heard of until uh, recent weeks when you advised me I should take a look at his channel. And I tried out a tip that was basically looking to increase your club head speed for your irons. It worked incredibly well for me and it's something I've adopted into my game. But then I asked the question, well, if you can do that for your irons, why can't you take exactly the same interpretation into your driver and also increase club head speed, increase distances? Very quick recap, I'm gonna, I'll put the link for my initial video uh, down below. Also, Eric's initial video will be down below, but I'm gonna quickly recap on what you do. The problem we've got as golfers, or as Eric explains it at least, we get to the top of our swing, of our backswing, and we use a huge amount of energy to try and hit into the back of that golf ball. That's where we assume we need to generate that speed from. What we don't do is generate enough speed through the impact area, and essentially that's where that club head speed is essential. And you just a little drill, and it's a really weird drill, I can tell you that now, and I said in the initial video, you're gonna to have to try this out, you feel a little bit silly doing it, like I did in the video, and then you realize a bit later on when we progress this, it actually works, you don't feel as stupid. You're gonna need a bit of a prop, and in this case, I'm gonna use the uh, yellow uh, tee box cover, and you can use a uh, basket of balls, uh, your driver head cover, whatever it may be, and you're gonna put your club head in front of that. And what that's stopping us doing is taking any form of backswing because we ain't going that way. All this is about generating this club head speed from our address position through to the top of our swing. And all you do is this, take your normal position. You're gonna feel like you wanna go backwards, that's what your brain is telling you. But what you're gonna do is this. Right, let me get in my position first of all. You're gonna whip through to the top of your swing just as fast as you can. Like I said, feels a little bit weird, I know. And just keep on doing that. Now, I feel like I'm getting there very quickly. It probably looks to you, it's almost like in slow motion. But trust me, I'm doing my best to kind of get that from there with no generated power from this side of the swing, all coming from the address position. And it's up, and I'm through the ball. Just do that for, I don't know, do 10 reps of that. Then what you're gonna do, step back a little. We're still not in the golf ball as yet, but trust me, I will get there. Don't go anywhere, watch this. Back in my address position. We're now gonna go, we're gonna extend, we're gonna start to get a bit of a backswing, but that backswing is only gonna go to waist height. So, we get to here and we get to there, right? Then you're gonna do exactly the same thing. You're gonna whip through to the top of your swing, right? So to the back, and then through. To the back, through. That was better. To the back, through. For me, I just like to have that little bit of a scuff of the ground, feeling that my low point is just uh, behind my address position, so I'm gonna hit that ball on the up. That's essential to see in other videos, understanding where that low point is, whether it be driver, or iron in hand, you must make sure that's right. And all you're gonna do is keep on exactly that. Do it until you get comfortable with it. And now, you'll be pleased to know, we're finally gonna hit a golf ball. So, first of all, I'm gonna take some time and get in my address position. Just step away from the ball a bit. All the other drills that I've been practicing are uh, coming into fruition right now. And we're gonna hit a ball but we're only gonna hit a ball with that half a backswing. That's the one. Right, let's see if we can do that. So halfway, and then through. Now what you'll see straight away is we've probably hit the ball certainly a couple of hundred yards, certainly a lot further than you would expect me to hit it when you consider we've only swung what I feel like is to waist height. As I said in the initial video, 
the likelihood is I'm probably going a little bit higher than that but either way it's generating far more distance than you would expect from a half a swing so we're going to try one more as a half swing and then we've got a little visitor and then we're going to adopt it and move it a little bit further into a full swing but trust me this generates so much more club head speed than you would ordinarily get so if you're new to this channel just a quick reminder of what this thing is all about testing the tips i am an average golfer much like yourself and i continually look for nuggets of information that might help me become a better golfer and what i'm doing is translating videos from the leading youtubers into my interpretation bringing them to you and let me letting you know what i think of them if they work or not so if you like what you see please consider hitting that subscribe button and uh, try and improve your game as i am so naturally what we've then got to do is progress that into the full swing what this automatically does is by starting that sort of um first drill where you go from the sort of standing position and whip through it automatically translates to generating greater speed throughout the whole swing something that you kind of almost subconsciously do so i've done my practice drills i'm now going to get to the top and i'm going to whip through at the bottom and let's see what it does to my overall driver distance that's probably i hope i mean you're picking that up in the backdrop of those mountains that is probably the longest drive i've hit on camera since we've been doing this testing the tip series so trust me it is really worth going through the pain now i hit a couple before we started leaked one out to the right as you can see and it's kind of like th there needs to be commitment there needs to be commitment in your swing and make sure that you buy into this process you've also got to be careful one thing i would also consider is that We've done a lot of videos on tempo and making sure your tempo is good so don't become erratic with it if you notice on that last swing that i'm really really pleased with i still made plenty of effort to make sure my tempo was good going back and then coming down again kept control kept it smooth and then just try to generate more speed as i come into impact so don't go losing all the fundamentals of like i said what i'm really keen to do with driver which is stay um, in control of that driver head anyway that's my interpretation as ever it's certainly working for me both in irons and in driver as well so i can't see why not it wouldn't work for you right as ever thanks for watching and thanks to eric cagorno thank you to you for telling me about eric cagorno and any more tips that you've got in terms of pointing me in the right direction for future videos then by all means let me know in the comment section below i think we've got done just in time as the rain is about to fall i'll see you all soon